Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I, I have a word from the Lord for you today. I was um, trying to study the word last night. And I was trying to make sense of this, this phrase. That no man knows the day or the hour. And I thought I had it all figured out. And then after Matthew 25, verse 13, he says it again. So he's talking about it's, it's pretty clear that no man will know the day or the hour of his return. But we will know the season. You know why? Because... In Matthew 24, it does say this generation will not pass away until all these things be fulfilled. And I just can't see how this generation cannot mean the one that started when Israel became a nation again. And I have not heard anyone else say anything to the contrary of it. So I'm going to keep looking into this. But this morning, I was talking to the Lord. And I said, Lord, I would really like to get a word from you about this. I said, I don't want a rapture date. I said, I just want to know. Are we looking at this year? Are we, you know, is it really going to be a while? Or whatever you want to tell me. I'm happy to write it down and share it. So, <clears throat> this is what I got to share with you. So, it was Saturday, 11-19, 2016. At 7.33 a.m. He said, Daughter, I have a word for you. The days are short. You need to stay in prayer. Keep telling my children to be ready. And help those not ready to get ready. They must repent they must be filled with oil, my Holy Spirit. They need my holy power. These days are crucial to you, all of you. Spend them wisely, not foolishly. Keep praying for those not yet ready. Stay in forgiveness for those who hurt you. Be my warriors, my soldiers. Pick up your cross and follow me daily. I will be there. Oh, I'm sorry. I will be there soon. You can count on it. I know what they... And I knew in the spirit he meant the powers to be. I know what they are doing to you. Keep declaring no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And keep praying over your food and water. I will make it safe to eat and drink. If you do not, you could get sick from it. They put things in the food and water that I never created your bodies to handle. My creation was pure and holy until Satan tainted it with sin. Soon that will be no more. Soon you will be with me. And everything I have to serve you is pure and holy. 
untainted with poisons. So stay in prayer. The enemy does roam about, seeking whom he can devour. He wants your very soul. Beware, beware, beware. That's three bewares. I'd say you better beware. This is your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the one who died for you, speaking. And I love you so very much. You do well. Don't stop now. Many children still need to learn more from me and about me. Be encouraged and do not give up. You will be with me soon. And that's when it ended. So that was encouraging that I got to get a word from the Lord to share with you. Keep praying and pray over your food. You know, I have to admit, I've been afraid to eat fish. Especially salmon. Knowing that radiation is coming in from Fukushima. And I wasn't sure where tuna fish came from. I just didn't want to eat it. And I've been eating it. Lately, I thought, well, if I pray over it, it'll be okay. And this message was my confirmation. So, the foods normally so good for us have been poisoned, either purposefully or not purposefully. And we have to pray over our food. Thank God for it. Ask him to bless it and purify it and use it to strengthen and nourish our bodies. And always end it with, in Jesus' name I pray. And your food will be purified and your water. I pray over my water too. As some people think they still believe fluoride prevents cavities. <laughs> What a scam. <laughs> you can look all that up. It's cancerous. I'm telling you what. It's a wonder any of us are still here. It's only by the power of the Lord. Well, I'll end it there. That's enough. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you when you watch this. And I have to plead the blood over the video. And the internet connection so it'll go up. Okay. So, take in mind what he's telling you. Let us stay in prayer and do the things he said. Okay. Bye-bye for now. I will talk to you later.